In this farm, around 75 million pineapples are harvested each year. Workers pick the pineapples by hand and carefully place them on the conveyor belt. Specialized machines peel the pineapples, removing the outer skin and core. Once peeled, the pineapples move to a slicing machine. But how are the world's most delicious pineapples produced? In this Costa Rican farm, the most delicious pineapples, also known as honey pineapples, are cultivated. These pineapples typically have a higher sugar content, contributing to their sweet and juicy flavor. Sugar concentration is a key factor in taste quality. This variety is specifically selected for its superior organoleptic characteristics. It all starts with soil preparation. Agricultural machinery is used to plow the land. Plowing helps break up the soil's surface layer, improving aeration and facilitating nutrient absorption. Cultivation areas are leveled to ensure proper drainage and prevent waterlogging issues. This is essential to prevent excess water around plant roots, as pineapples dislike excess water. Raised beds are created so that any excess rain can flow away and not harm the plant. Next, fertilizer is applied to the soil to improve its structure and nutritional content. This provides pineapple plants with essential nutrients for healthy growth. Workers lay plastic to retain moisture and keep insects and rodents away. Then, the best seedling plants from the previous year's harvest are loaded onto trucks and spread along the raised beds. Each bed will have two rows of pineapples planted in it. Each seedling is hand-planted with the same spacing between them. They are planted 26 centimeters apart in rows of 100. Crowns are planted at the proper depth in the soil to ensure stable anchorage and optimal root development. With 9,000 pineapple crowns planted by hand each day, it's not an easy task. It's important for the plants to develop at the same rate so that they all receive the same amount of nutrients and sunlight, allowing them to grow to approximately the same size. Around 75 million pineapples are grown each year on this farm. It takes eight months of growth before the plants are ready for the next stage. The farmer drives their tractor through the fields and using a special machine called a crop sprayer, sprays each plant. At this first shoot, farmers spray the plant with ethylene, a natural gas that stimulates complete flowering. The gas signals to the plant that it's time to start developing fruit. This process is called induction. After floral induction, plants begin to develop small flowers in the center of the leaf rosette. The stem of the flower cluster gradually thickens, forming the central core around which the fruits will develop. As the flower stem continues to thicken, the small flowers fuse and form the pineapple. The process takes several weeks, it takes approximately 18 months from planting the pineapple until it's ready to be harvested. Farmers visually assess and conduct maturity tests to determine the right time for harvest. Sugar and flavor tests are conducted using a refractometer and by evaluating pulp quality. This step is crucial to ensure tasty, ready-to-eat pineapples. After 18 months, pineapples are ripe and ready for harvest. The whole fruit measures about 30 centimeters long and weighs about two kilograms. Unlike many fruits, pineapples don't ripen further after harvest. Workers play a crucial role in the pineapple harvesting process. It's a decisive moment, as when the skin takes on an intense golden hue and the pulp reaches the perfect combination of sweetness and juiciness, it's a sign that the pineapples are ready to be picked. On this Costa Rican farm, most pineapples are hand-picked because using machines could bruise or damage the fruit. The implementation of specialized technology like the arm harvester makes a difference in this process. This machine moves gradually through the field, ensuring each pineapple is accurately selected. Workers use specialized tools like harvest knives or scissors to cut pineapples from the stems without damaging the fruit. Workers must be skilled to make clean and efficient cuts. Arm harvesters move slowly through the plantation allowing pickers to carefully and skillfully select fruit at its correct level of maturity. At this point, delicacy is key, as pineapples are sensitive to bruising and damage. Workers carefully pick pineapples by hand and place them on the conveyor belt. This step is essential to maintain fruit quality. Each fruit is picked and placed on a conveyor belt, then deposited in a large container. It's interesting to note how a pineapple crown provides an ideal cushion for transport, which is why fruits are stored upside down in containers. 
Once containers are full, the next phase of the process begins. Although most of these pineapples will be processed, the most attractive ones will be sold whole. Pineapples end up on this truck, and once it's full, it heads to the factory. Upon arrival at the factory, pineapples undergo a washing and cleaning process to remove any soil, insects, or other contaminants. The containers are submerged in water to wash the fruit and remove any surface dust. The washed fruit in the tank floats to the top, where it's pushed by the water pressure onto a conveyor belt. In this factory, 140,000 tons of pineapples are processed each year. Pineapples are sorted according to their quality, size, and appearance. Those meeting the standards for the consumer market are separated from those destined for processing. Subsequently, any pineapple that doesn't meet the size or quality criteria is removed. Then, pineapples go through a wax bath, a key measure to preserve their moisture content and keep them fresh during transport. Fans cool and harden the wax, forming a coating that creates a barrier. This slows down the ripening process, ensuring that pineapples don't overripe before reaching their export destination. The last stop is the packaging and labeling department. Workers pack pineapples with crowns separately. Those with crowns are for export. Pineapples that have the perfect size and shape are packed into boxes according to their size. Those without crowns go to a canning factory to be sliced, diced, or crushed. Packed pineapple boxes are stored in cold rooms to maintain freshness. Cold storage helps extend the shelf life of pineapples and preserve their quality. Once in the canning factory, fresh pineapples arrive at the processing plant. Visual inspections are conducted to discard damaged fruits from the plantations. Pineapples undergo a washing process to remove any dirt or surface residue. Next, specialized machines peel the pineapples, removing the outer skin and core. This process ensures that only the pineapple pulp is used. The rough skin quickly wears down the blades, so they have to sharpen the blades every half hour. Once peeled, pineapples move to a slicing machine that produces slices slightly thicker than a centimeter. On average, it produces about seven slices. Workers check the fruit for any residual skin. This machine cuts them into smaller pieces. The ripest and therefore sweetest pulp goes directly into the can. Pineapple pieces are evenly placed in cans, leaving adequate space for the covering liquid. Once filled, cans are tightly sealed to prevent contaminants from entering. Once the cans are sealed, they go through a heating process, usually in autoclaves, to sterilize and ensure long-term preservation. From fresh fruit to can, the entire process takes only 20 minutes. Pineapples have been processed and packaged and are now ready to decorate pizzas and flavor fruit salads. If you want to know how Doritos are made, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.